Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here. Are they nerfing auto shoot? Let's find out. This was posted earlier today on Facebook. This is from Marek from MFG. Update patch notes 0.5.0 is coming. You know, guys, it is gonna happen, right? It has to happen. They've been talking about it for so long. But we have a date now, an official release date. And they say update will be live in the next week on 30th of May. So this is next Thursday, right? In a week from now. Now, new features. Uh, there's not a lot of new stuff. We already talked about it. There's one thing I want to look at with you guys today. So let's check out real quick. The new features. Uh, now they have a number over 150 co-op missions that you can play with friends. Okay. It's not all the 400 something mission they had already, but it's probably different missions. Um, and they talk about... Uh, daily missions uh, get unique rewards so we're gonna have stuff to do daily in older missions and side quests this is gonna be awesome i just wonder what the reward's gonna be see if it's gonna be worth the time but it unlocks at rank 20. Uh, a couple other things one thing that i like uh, music emotes you already see in one of the loading screen there was a guy with a guitar so you're gonna have multiple music emotes so if you have a music emote and your friends have music emotes you can just, uh, instead of dancing together, you can play music. I think it's freaking cool for real. Uh, rework squad now with uh, voice chat support. But uh, they said it was going to be like PlayStation group or Xbox groups. So even when you're not playing with your friends, you can form a squad. And then you can play on solo mission, but still keep talking with your friends. Uh, and then they say you can vote on missions or something. So it used to be like people invite you in a squad then they start a match and you didn't want to do it or you're not ready you need to sell or switch uh, a weapon so now they say you will you'll be able to vote so i guess if you're not ready or you won't, don't want to do it you can vote no uh i think it's a great thing but new content uh also no surprise here two new dungeons brothers of fire and I did tell you a couple of streams ago, I think there was going to be, or I think there's going to be an easy dungeon and a hard dungeon. Well, we kind of have a confirmation here. This first dungeon opens at rank 5, the second dungeon opens at rank 20. So I think it's going to be like Bronze Arena, an easy dungeon that might not give legendary rewards or not great, like blues and, and greens, mostly greens. Uh... If there is a legendary on that one, it's going to be probably super easy to farm. A uh, new dual map. Uh, okay, this is good. Two new legendary armor sets. Uh, Basilisk and Invictus. Now that is awesome because when you think legendary armor, you think boots, legs, chest, gloves, and shoulders. That's five items twice. So that's 10 new legendaries in the game to farm. So I'm guessing they're going to be shuffled all over the place. So we're going to have to do some more arena, Voltaic Fist, and Blade Dancer. So this is what I think. They're probably going to be all over the place, right? Uh, a new legendary weapon. One new legendary weapon, Project Ambra. Though we'll have more new epic weapons. Four tombstone. I thought it was gonna be one and one new cosmetic set inspired by the Egyptian god Horus. Okay, now guys, time for the they call it improvements. Okay, so I want to skip because there's a lot of stuff, but I want to skip straight to the last one. This is what I want to talk about today. Okay, read the last one. Balancing, balancing of auto shoot. Latest version simulates human reactions. Now, that got me pretty worried, guys. I hope I'm wrong, but everyone's super hype about the update, all the new stuff we're going to get. But we did maybe oversee that balancing auto shoot. Uh, look at that, okay? I talked about it two days ago. When they say we listen, it seems that, of course, they listen. But who are they listening to? The people that complain, right? But who's the people that complain? Is it a minority that is not happy? And all the hundred thousands of players that are actually happy with the game, they don't complain because they, they're happy, right? They enjoy the game. They enjoy farming. They enjoy playing with friends. They don't spend their time complaining on Facebook because they're busy enjoying the game. So there was some complaining about auto shoot on Facebook. A lot of people were saying like remove auto shoot from the game uh auto shoot is not fair and blah 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 they said we're not touching auto shoot 
they said there's like 70% of the players, according to their stats, 70% of the players use auto shoot. So that leaves less than 30% of the players that do not use it because it's more than 70. And out of the 30% or less that actually do not use auto shoot, you can take some of these use controllers or Nvidia Shield. Nvidia Shield uh, also goes with a controller, okay? So that's probably less than 30% of the players and much less that actually play on their phone without auto shoot, okay? So the point that was made is as soon as you detect a target, it starts shooting. But usually if you play with your thumb, you would have to actually, when you lock on your target, you will have to click or or press the, the button to start shooting. So that would be probably a fraction of a second. It would not start shooting automatically. And that's probably what people wanted, right? To, to nerf the auto shoot a little bit. So that could be it. It could be a nerf. Balancing usually is a nerf or a buff. And in that case, it really smells like a nerf to me. And I really hope that I'm wrong. The other thing that it could be is a slight buff, but if they buff auto shoot, it's gonna make some people very mad. But what is the actual human reaction? If I shoot something and I don't want to shoot it and I look at the wall, if I'm playing with a controller, I will stop shooting. I will, I will not empty my clip into the wall like a freaking idiot. Or if someone's behind a wall, I will not start shooting at the wall, right? Human reaction means I'm shooting something and when it's dead, I stop shooting. I don't empty the rest of my clip into the air. So that could be, and I hope it's going to be something like that, that you will not shoot into a wall for no reason or finish emptying your clip when you're done killing an enemy and there's no other enemies behind. That is my point, okay? There's multiple ways to balance, balance auto shoot. You could add a little delay but you could also make it a bit better. So it's not a nerf, it's not a buff, it's a bit of both, and it makes it more realistic. So guys, that was the point I wanted to make today. If you're really killing auto shoot, prepare for a monster riot. I don't wanna, <laughs> I mean, this is not a threat, okay? It's just uh, prepare to listen to people complaining for real. You don't know if 70% or more of your player base is actually using auto shoot and you destroy it it's gonna be crazy you will never see a facebook like that or reddit like that or a discord like that it's gonna be so ugly i i don't even want to think about it but why is auto shoot so used auto shoot actually makes this game super accessible for mobile or people that are not used to playing first-person shooters on mobile. I remember the first game I tried, first-person shooter I tried on mobile. The real hardcore shooter was probably something like uh, Rules of Survival. And it was so awkward to me at first that I played a game or two, the controls felt not so good, and I stopped. I, I did not keep playing to get better because it was so awkward and frustrating to me. And when I got into this game with the auto-shoot feature, it was so easy to get into the game. It may, it makes the game easy to play for a mobile game, right? It's not a console. You don't all have controllers. So it just make it super easy to play and enjoyable. And, you know, just casually farming with friends, not having to worry about all the buttons and stuff. Uh, it's just, it's just a choice. You can use it. You can not use it if you don't want to, but I really hope it's not a nerf, guys. I really hope it's not a big nerf. So leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And you can also leave a comment and tell me, are you using auto shoot? Because 70% of the people and more use it. So are you one of these? I use it. I'm not shy. And I don't get hate for it. And I'm, I don't think I'm a noob. I just enjoy it. And it's easy. And um, I, you can say I'm lazy. I don't even care. I like auto shoot. What can I say? So please, Mad Finger Games, do not destroy one thing that most of the players actually use right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification, and watch my other videos. See you guys.